Hey guys, new Plasticity 3D tutorial and in this tutorial we will recreate this beard shaver here and yeah we will use pretty interesting lofting and surfaces techniques. So let's directly start. Uh, as always you can download the reference image link in the description and if you enjoy Plasticity as much as I do, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my future tutorials on that. So let's start with creating a new file and first of all let's create this piece here on the top because yeah we will rotate it and it's just better if we start uh, with it from the top view so we just go to the top view and we just create here a regular polygon and create a triangle and we give it a nice fillet something like that and then we will create three circles here so we will just uh, snap it yeah, approximately here and sh shift d and with GG and control click we will snap it here and now we will select them all press O to offset them a little bit so yeah something like that this is fine and now we have to create uh, I forgot again the name <laughs> control point curve with shift F and we will uh, just snap it here somewhere in the middle and drag it out with a tangent and just snap it here to the middle alt X and J and B um, yeah so something like that and again it's a quick tutorial so just spend a little bit more time to get the exact uh, shape so when we have this thing here we have to radial array it three times so we also have it here on those other points and now we can just T and trim this everything away and now we will select all of those pieces here and press J and now select those circles here too and just bring them up yeah a little bit maybe something like that and now we have to just loft those two uh, curves here with L so this is fine we don't need those curves anymore and we have to um, so delete them and select the surface here and patch holes to uh, yeah to to close it and yeah we can already give a nice little fillet so you see we have like uh, this thing here so now let's create a few holes so we will select the faces of those circles extrude them press Q select the body press W to make a difference uh, right click and uh, yeah we can basically delete those here and now also again with face mode select uh, those faces oh little offset and now just um, or or better select those pieces shift d is separate so we have those metallic pads uh, parts then separate and drag them out just a little bit yeah so something like that and now again select those faces press o something like that and just extrude that a little bit inwards and yeah so that's just very basic uh, for the tutorial so now you can fill it all of those pieces here and also those pieces here so that looks nice smooth and clean and yeah that should be also a little bit bigger yeah the most interesting and important part will be the body so let's continue here with this piece so again face mode select this face press E and B to create a separate body so yeah something like that that's fine and uh, select those two bodies QQ to union them select this face here on the bottom press O and give it a little bit of a thickness and select this piece here and drag it to the top because here you see we also just have a little bit of thickness uh, maybe with uh, alt click you can select a loop so just keep that in mind so now go to this face here and now you have to create a line so we will create yeah those yeah those this this shape here so just snap it here to the middle and to the center alt x and x to bring it to the other side j and b to bevel that so this is fine and now uh, press E to extrude it so it's going beyond that edge and tap to the other side select that curve and again select that surface go to the top view and 
press alt z so you see the origin and again just number three and perfect so now you can select the body and with shift click select all of the surface press q to cut it and deselect the body and um yeah delete that perfect so now we can also give those hard edges a nice little fillet so just select them and yeah and again guys <laughs> definitely spent more time with that so you get this exact shape but honestly that looks already pretty good so now what we can do is go to the front view and bring in our image here so where do i have it yeah somewhere here perfect so ss and um, bring it here to the middle with gg and yeah so so somewhere here press m bring it to the front make it transparent and press g and bring it to the background so it's not disturbing us perfect so again we go to the front view uh, we can delete all of those curves. We will select all of those solids, press Ctrl G. And guys, if you are a super beginner, maybe that's too fast for you. Check out my other beginner tutorials. There I'm much slower and explain everything in detail. So we have our group and we call it top part. And this top part, so we just select all of those pieces, press G and bring it up and scale it down. So it's the same size as here in the reference. And now you have to rotate it. So press R and just rotate it. And yeah, just again, for now approximately. And again, br bring it a little bit down. And maybe you see we could make this bottom piece a little bit longer. So face mode, press Alt and select this face here below and just drag it out a, a tiny bit. And this is fine. So now what we can do is start with the interesting part. So we will go to edge mode, alt click, select this edge here, shift D to separate it. And now we don't need our top part anymore. And now, so we just have this um, image from the front. So we don't know how that looks yeah, from the side, but we will just guess it. That's also fine. But now what we can do is uh, shift F control point curve and just snap it somewhere here at the end of this edge and now just recreate that shape but um, you see I let a little bit of a distance between here the the where the reference is so always like the same kind of distance because we will extrude then one part of that and we will cut it so just do that you will see in a second why we have to do this and snap this piece here to the X. It's not snapping. So just go to origin, press shift. So you have construction lines and now you can snap it. And yeah, this, this is fine for now. So what we have to do now is alt X and press X to bring it to the other side. And let's check. Yes. So they are intersecting. So this is fine. So we have here our shape and I know it's not exact, but tutorial. <laughs> And now we just go here to the right view or left view and again control shift F curve and snap it this time here to the middle and go here to the right and just drag it in a few times and then create yeah this shape here and so again this curve has to be tangent where we will mirror it so you have to go to this point here and press shift and you get those purple lines and then you can snap it and just snap it here again. And yeah, so adjust those curves how you like them, but something like that should be fine. And shift F and again, snap it here to the middle on, on the back and do the same. So we will just go a little bit straight outwards and then just yeah create this shape here. And again, go to this point here and tangent and perfect. So that looks pretty fine. And by the way, guys, if you enjoy those tutorials, check out my master classes and courses. So first link in the description, I have two amazing courses on plasticity where we will really dive deeper into plasticity and combine many 
different interesting techniques or if you want to learn product rendering on the highest level check out my masterclass here on the left yeah first link in the description so perfect we have this kind of shape <laughs> i know it's not what we need but again just spend more time i am showing you the techniques here but yeah so let's zoom here to this points and see if all, everything looks fine so now we have our nice cage so now we can start to loft that uh, select this first curve then this this and this and press l and it's not working because yeah i zoomed in here all of those points here they have to to be exactly on the same point so just take those points and just bring them all with control click to the same point so um, yeah, if that happens for you, this is the solution. So select this again, this curve and this curve. Press L. You're now at C. You see it works, but yeah, we have this hole, so we have to loop it. And now shift click and this guideline here on the top. And you see we have a pretty clean, nice shape. And yeah, maybe you could give this also a nice little curvature. But again, um, yeah, I told you that already. So let's deselect all of those points here and amazing so and that's our beard shaver so thank you for watching and see you in the next one <laughs> no that was a joke so let's go here to the front and now comes the really interesting part so we will create i don't know i i i just absolutely love this kind of chamfers and yeah i don't know it's just looks so cool and yeah hard, like hard surface and all that stuff so what we have to do First of all, we will create a line and we will create first of all this, yeah, this shape here on the outside. So just create here a line and here and here and give this point a nice bevel and give this point a nice bevel as well. Perfect. So select the curve, Alt X and X to bring it to the other side. Yes. Also give here just a little curve, but that's fine for now. Press J. And now we can press C and cut this body. Perfect. So we can yeah, hide this piece here. And now we can select this yeah, uh, face or surface here. So we go to the front view. And now you see you can just extrude it a little bit. And now we are getting this outer shape. So... Yeah, let me extrude it maybe even a tiny bit more because that's cool. Perfect. So I like this a lot. So now we have to go to the front view and do the same for this inner chamfer thing. So again, shift A and create a nice line. Let me do it a little bit uh, longer. Yes, obviously you could also offset that before, but if you forgot it as I did, just create a new one. And yeah, you can experiment with different shapes and stuff. So press B, select this point, give it a nice little fillet and this top piece here as well. And again, Alt X and X, right click J to join that. And now C and select this inner body. So select the curve. So they are uh, joined, press C and cut this body here on the top. And now select this body here on the top again and hide this curve. So now what we have to do is we have to select um, all of those edges here, but let me first uh, disable this. So we have to select all of those edges, but because I did that already a few times before, I know sometimes if you zoom very, very closely in, you see if you would select this curve, you would still have like a little piece here. So also select that if you have it. Sometimes, I don't know, I have it sometimes not. So just be sure that you select that too, because otherwise we can't loft and fill it that. So also here, check it out, zoom very, very closely in and see if that is nice and connected. And this is, so select all of those other edges here around. Perfect. So now this is selected, press shift D. So you have this nice curve and the same we have to do with this inner body. So again, select all of those edges and when you select here the last one again zoom yeah and you see again we have a little extra edge so everything is selected shift d so now you have those two curves select them both press l perfect and now you can loft it 
So we will do that in a second, but first of all, we have to do something different. So to make our lives easier, just uh, press three face mode and select those faces here on top because we will use it to, to close our sheet in a second. So select just this pieces here, shift D. So you, now you have an extra sheet and now you can select this whole body and uh, hide it. And now delete the, um, the, the faces here from this main body, shift X. Perfect. So now we have something like that. We can bring back our curves and our sheet. And you see if we loft it with those curves, so press, uh, select them both, press L. We have now a nice surface or sheets. So right click to confirm. So we have three sheets and now with object mode, select this sheet, this middle piece and this main part and press J. Bam. And we have a solid. So it's exactly what we need. So select those, um, yeah, curves. We don't really need them. And now what you should be able to do is you can just select this edge here and perfect. You can give it a nice sharp fillet and that will look absolutely gorgeous. And one more thing, if you're interested in 3D and plasticity and product rendering, join our free community. Also link in the description. You can get feedback and post your work and all that kinds of stuff so we can grow together. So pretty awesome place. And we can again give this also a nice little fillet. So we have something like that. And if we bring everything back and we just hide those curves here and that and that. So let's see, we are not done. Some few things we have to do, but look, this is just absolutely beautiful and I absolutely love it. So uh, that you can render that then later out with this, um, yeah, light part here again, select um, your backplate and create a circle and just create with all the a nice little circle, bring it a little bit down, shift D to duplicate, bring it here, shift A, snap it to the circle, snap it to 1010, snap it, snap it to 1010, press T and delete all of those extra curves, press J to uh, join the curve, press O to make a little offset. And now both curves are selected, press C to cut the body. And you will see if you show the edges, that looks exactly what we need. So let me, let me go like that, but it's also on the back. So we also just have to go to the right, just create here in the middle, a new line and use this line for cutting those those extra pieces. So again, line is selected, press C and select this outer piece. So now we can again with object mode, select all of those extra pieces, QQ. So on the back, we don't see it anymore. And on the front, you have those pieces separate. So you can attach different materials. So also an emissive material. So just one more little detail. We go here to the front view and we will create with control A align and just make those cuts here and press B to give them a fillet just a little bit more. Yeah, for now it's fine. Oh, and Alt X and X to mirror it on the other side, press C and select the main body here, delete those little pieces and select those edges here and give it also a nice juicy little fillet. Perfect. So now just you have to give also those pieces here a nice little fillet and that's basically it. So let's have a look again how that looks. So that looks absolutely beautiful. Again, leave a like, subscribe, check out my next video and see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day. Bye.